Recently, a Trump supporter sabotaged a speed dating event for Democrats called Date a Dem. And there was a lot of discourse about this on Twitter. Some people said it was hilarious. Others didn't take it so well and said that he shouldn't be trying to sabotage their dating lives just because of their political views. We'll get into it. So a Trump supporter sabotaged a Manhattan dating event for Democrats by buying a bunch of tickets and then no showing, leaving love seeking lefties out of luck. We were talking beforehand about how much that writer must have loved writing. They that. need a raise. Yes. They, yeah. Um, the facilitator of the dating event got a phone call from a blocked number shortly before the event, which was held in Chelsea on September 18th. Uh, apparently the same day as Trump's rally in Long Island. I don't know if that was on purpose. The former um, organizer of the event said the gist of what was said on the phone by this individual was F your snowflake event. We're not coming. We're all at the Trump rally. <laughs> she runs single in the city. Um, they apparently this person bought several tickets for men yeah so it turned out that there were two men who showed up and like 10 democrat women uh this guy said when i got there it was just me one other guy and about 10 women and i'm like he did you a favor yep. that means that you're <laughs> slim pickings and all of the women are going to be all over you yep. right you yeah. should be thanking this guy whoever he is scarcity the hopeful singles were stunned at the situation one said we were we shook our heads and said, how polarized are we that someone would do something this unhinged? We just sat in a circle and basically had a little discussion, things about what people's experiences were dating and what they were looking for. Well, somebody did just try to kill the other guy, so. Why are we so polarized? Polarizing might be a little bit of an understatement there, <laughs> is all I'm saying. Um, but I want to get into more details about this event. So this woman who runs Single in the City, she does events for all sorts of people. She doesn't just hold events for left-leaning people. She also held a GOP speed dating event. She also did an event for um, first responders as well because you know, a lot of women wanted to date firefighters or police officers. They all come there to get their calendar EMTs. signed. Yeah, exactly. They're, um, uh, aren't there nicknames for women who are into dating cops? Uh, badge bunnies. Exactly. That was, that was what yeah. that event was for. So the Date a Dem event is described here. Tired of swiping left on profiles that scream MAGA? Our Date a Dem speed dating event is where progressive hearts collide faster than a presidential ticket change. See, isn't that making the Dems <laughs> synonymous with just progressivism? What about your, is there like a classical liberal date, uh, loving liberals where you just have classical liberals at a dating event? Because, You're going to have to pitch that idea yeah. to her. Uh, this says, now fans of social and economic equality, formerly riding with Biden and super psyched for Camelot, <laughs> can register for our Date a Dem event. Who? Socially conscious, never Trump singles, age 25 to 39, who would rather discuss tax reform than their exes. What? A politically charged speed dating experience where single voters will meet up to 15 single Dems in one evening over three to five minute speed dates and receive mutual matches the same evening. And why? Because nothing says romance like a shared disdain for Fox News, quote unquote, and Tucker Carlson. Um, You're bonding over your hatred for Tucker Carlson with your future husband or wife. There is a, there, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie right now, there is the possibility for Alex Stein to do the funniest thing on planet Earth right he now. He needs to do it. He, he really does. Alex somebody, Stein needs to go to somebody Data Somebody send this to Alex Stein, please, Absolutely. and tell him to go to the next Data Dem. Well, he should go to both. Yes. So I went and found the GOP speed dating event as well, also held in Manhattan. This says, in today's political climate, shared values are the cornerstone of a strong connection. Our GOP repub romance dating event invites MAGA hearts to unite over cocktails and conversation with potential partners on the same page politically. 
For connections faster than fake news, we invite right-wing singles to don their best American flag pins, polish their patriotic pickup lines, and prepare to meet their Republican Romeos and Juliets, who are all about making dating great again. I no know. debates about border security, <laughs> gun control, the environment, or the reversal of Roe v. Wade. Just straight-up patriotism. I feel like it's all... All, like... Cancer. Props, props to the props I mean, look, to the unscrupulous businesswoman who's just like, I'll I'll sell it to you. I'll yeah. sell it to you. Yeah, that's capitalism. Yeah, I'm yeah. all for finding someone that shares your values to date. I think that you should. Mm -hmm. I think that it's probably a bad idea, especially for men, be, to date women that have you know. If you're not, if you're a fairly conservative dude, or even a even a dude that's just a little right of center, mm -hmm. don't date a, a feminist, like an actual feminist. It's sure. going to go terribly for you. But otherwise, like, don't go to uh, like maybe and maybe it would work. I don't know, but I don't. I feel like going specifically to a political thing. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot more in the in life than exactly. politics. It's depressing, Do you think it, it attracts crazies by uh, its own nature? Yeah, probably yes. I mean, honestly, I would say it, it's probably better to go if you're if you are on the right and, and a religious person. It's probably better to go to church. Sponsored uh, by know. Patriot Lube. But oh man, I really hope that doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, I hope I hope you I agree. Well, I mean, given that this is held in New York City, I thought. In New York City, you're not going to have any trouble yeah. meeting another left-wing person to date because that's literally everyone there. Go to the artisanal pickle shop. Yeah. There's plenty of Dems there. Yeah, so um, you have to be really extreme on the left to need to go to this event specifically. Um, but the founder of the event said, we figured it's probably due to Republicans having a harder time yeah. meeting like-minded singles in NYC. So this event theme is really appealing to them. They have much higher attendance mm -hmm. at the GOP events than the Dem events. I will say, I agree with you, Phil. Like when I see stuff like this, I think about how depressing it is that so much of our life and relationships now is boiled down to something like politics, right? There's so much more to the world, to everything to no. to the life you live every day than politics yes and i th i i i understand that this is going to sound partisan and i am partisan there's not a there's no question yeah. about that but at the same time like i do think that if you're on the right or on this in the center you can easily say okay this stuff isn't a focus of my life if you're a feminist you're a feminist all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like being, it's like if you're a Christian, you're a Christian all the time. There's not It a affects time. all of your choices. Yeah, it, affects, it affects everything in your life. If you're on the left, it affects all of your choices. If you're, a, if you're in the center or even, or right leaning, you know, if you're, if you're left leaning, someone's going to give you hell about Donald Trump. And if you're not joining in there, you know, they're going to be like, are you really on the left? Or, you know, it, it's going to be a thing. Whereas if you're, center or center right or not you know you don't want to be engaged in politics that's acceptable on the center center right mm -hmm. even even so much even i think even on the on the fairly you know really conservative right i yeah. think you can you can be well i'm not super into politics you know they get i mean i'd say once you get farther to the ends of the spectrum they start getting really mad and morally judge you for not caring more because it gives them a thrill to pretend like they're morally superior to you because they believe that them paying laser focused attention to politics every day is somehow doing more for society than you are the news flash whatever whether it's uh your family your friends the people that you live uh your daily life with the people you interact with you do more good for society there than you do just by endlessly consuming news all day the and groipers then, care yeah. about a drop or two so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a, a drop or two the, yeah, the groipers care about a drop or two what does that even the, mean your blood oh the, like all, all i'm saying have, is if, like, you a, if you have the, if you have a drop or two of the wrong kind of uh -huh. blood the groipers would have a problem here like when you tell somebody like, look i don't care much for politics these days it's annoying they get very very like well mm -hmm. you know what the world's coming to an end in november and it's going to be your fault because you didn't do something about it by fine. not also tweeting about it like fine. I am. They need a uh, politically homeless speeding date, uh, yes! speed dating event. And actually, I think there's nothing inherently wrong with wanting to date someone and marry someone who is politically aligned with you. There just is a sign. If you're going to one of these events, 
there's a sign that politics takes up too much of your brain space. Yes. Because there is so much more than that to have in common with someone than merely your political stances and who you vote for. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that inherently, seeing that as something that's important to you. And uh, I don't know. Do you guys feel like the Trump supporter was in the wrong for trying to sabotage them? I wouldn't have done it. You like, wouldn't have done it, but look, both sides. Like, was it now, was it wrong of him? Yes, I, I I do. I don't say I don't know that I want to say it's wrong, but I mean I I don't want to I don't I don't <laughs> think it's wrong. Hurting, they weren't hurting anyone by doing this, and both sides then want to complain about polarization. Well, these aren't politicians; these are citizens, and I don't think that it was right to just. I, I'm going to laugh at it. It makes me laugh, but it makes me laugh uh, a little bit. You know, do you show up to the the data dem speeding speed dating event? And then like George Santos is there. See, the best the best one would be the you know the uh, Laura Loomer living, is there. living La Vida libertarian one where they just argue with each other the whole time. Amazing. A bunch of libertarians trying to actually learn about one another and they just start arguing about the Fed in the non aggression principle. It ruins the fun. Yeah. That's the problem, is everyone's gonna end up talking about politics when yeah. it's like Okay, you went to this event so that you knew you'd have political common ground with these people. That means you can talk about everything else other than politics, but that's not what's going to happen at an event like this. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.